，现代人越来越重视生活品质和健康议题。而除了保持良好规律的运动习惯之外，现在西方当代医学也在热烈讨论的一种疗法，就是利用精油。其实精油不只可以透过香氛涂抹，甚至还能口服，而且有许多医学研究显示，的确能带给人们正面的影响。而精油到底是什么？如何利用在医学和科学？请看今天的关键对话。关键时刻，掌握关键对话。大家好，我是孙川。现代人工作压力越来越大，很多人，尤其是女性朋友，都喜欢在下班之后做做 SPA， 好好放松、舒压一下。而在这其中，最不可或缺的就是精油。不过，其实精油还有更加广泛的用途。今天，我们很荣幸邀请到全球研究精油的权威 d r Hill 来为我们分享精油在医学还有科学方面的应用。Hi, Dr. Hill. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Cindy. Nice to be with you. There are a lot of people out there that think that essential oils are just about a good-smelling fragrance or aromatherapy, but it's absolutely more than that. So, Dr. Hill, can you tell us what exactly essential oils are? Sure. I mean, that's how most people would categorize essential oils. They love the aroma, and they love the effect that they get from that. But they're actually much, much more than that. If we look at what essential oils are, they do come from plants. And in our case, they're 100% natural, which means that it has a lot of benefits that go far beyond just aromatherapy. We live in this really exciting time now, where we're discovering much more about essential oils than we've ever known in the past, and that means that people are using them for all kinds of health circumstances and just well-being for themselves and for their entire family. So, as far as we know, essential oils are not new in the industry. So, throughout history, when did people start to use essential oils? You know, that's a really interesting thing. And in one way, they're not new at all because if we look at recorded history, they really have existed for almost as long as we have records of human history, and they've been used for a variety of different things. But in another sense, they really are very new, and it's because of this discovery. People are maybe learning for the first time the value of essential oils, and they approach that with great enthusiasm, and that allows them to not only use it for themselves but their entire family. So, although very historically relevant, very new to a lot of people as they're discovering them for the very first time. Why are essential oils so beneficial? How do they help us both physically and emotionally? Isn't it just because the psychological factors? Is there any scientific evidence? Can you give us an example? Well, seems like we live in a day and time where everybody wants to have all the proof. Everyone wants all of the evidence. So let me classify it maybe a couple of different ways, just real quickly. First, most people use essential oils with great outcomes and with great benefits, not because they know all of the science. But we do live in a time where there is a lot of evidence now. There's a lot of research about essential oils, very specifically, in medicine. Evidence-based medicine requires that we work through research, that we have things that validate how and why things are utilized in patient care, and that's exactly where we are now with essential oils as well. We participate in a lot of research, and there's great validation. So even though people typically use the essential oils not because they've read some scientific paper, it really goes a long ways in bolstering their confidence and helping them. To really use them for the intended outcomes that they are, it it creates for us additional knowledge and opportunity to share the value of the essential oils in such a way that people use them freely, and it is accepted now in many different forms of medicine and healthcare. And how do you apply essential oils in modern medicine practices? Well, this is a, an area where sometimes I wish we could become more refined. With what we've done with essential oils, but in truth, if we look at the historical value of essential oils, they've really always been used in three primary ways: topically, internally, and of course, aromatically. Now we do have a lot of validation for each one of those models, suggesting that they all have their individual benefits and would be safe to use. However, it doesn't mean that we become more sophisticated in how we use the essential oils. And in spite of all the knowledge and research that we now have at our fingertips, one of the great things about essential oils is that they are not complicated to use. So while some may wish for that to advance, I'm actually really grateful that it hasn't. That it remains really simple to use them. You can plug in your diffuser and take advantage of the aroma, or just apply them topically, or add them to your water. 
when you drink. The, it couldn't be easier to use essential oils and receive all of the benefits that come from them. And now we know that essential oils do have a lot of benefits, but how can I tell the quality in the source and in the labs? Well, this is kind of the million dollar question. This is the, this is the one part of essential oils that I think everyone forgets about because we hear the term essential oils and, and everyone kind of always believes that that's just the same thing, always. It's lemon is always just lemon. And that isn't true, that isn't true at all. There's many different types of essential oils and so consequently the quality or the standard associated with them is also really varied. I think the biggest challenge we have going forward with essential oils is to properly identify quality because that chemistry that exists within the oils, all, when it's all natural, reacts and responds differently than when it isn't. So. It's not any one single test that will determine quality. It, it requires many sophisticated tests, analytical interpretations. So we work with a lot of chemists, a lot of scientists, so that we can validate and prove that out time and time again. It, it's a requirement now if you want to use oil safely. You must also be a, a good connoisseur of their quality. And we're trying to take the guesswork out of that for people. And how can you ensure the purity on the composition of essential oils in the process of production? Well, I, I wish it was easier than what it was, to be honest with you, because every oil is a little bit different in its composition. Uh, the other thing you've got to recognize is that it's not just one plant produces one oil. We have many different species can produce oils and constituents that are very similar. So you have to become really decisive in this process. and. I would suggest that, and it's not offensive, I'm hoping to anyone in particular when I say this, but oils are true with any other commodity that we see. You kind of get what you pay for. And so there is this big transition that exists with essential oils from in what has become very prevalent in the marketplace into what we should consider using for our personal health. And those are need to be the highest quality oils. and. We've got a very stringent process that we go through and I would really encourage all producers of essential oils to consider their position on this because it's the number one most important thing that we consider with oils. And in the end, Dr. Hell, can you tell us uh, what is, um, by using essential oils, how well they transform people's lives? Well, that's something that is, here's what I love about oils is it really gives us this chance to personalize our approaches to wellness, to health, and our own individual perceptions. That I, I have my own oils that I love and that are my favorite and that I use all of the time. Uh, it's interesting to me that members of my own family, maybe with the very same circumstance, choose to use very different oils than what I am. So we can personalize that. I, I don't think it's any one particular outcome that we see. It's a broad perspective. We know that essential oils help us with our emotions. We know that it helps us with our physiological outcomes. We know they can be very simplistic and even helping us with the easiest factors of metabolism like digestion, for example. They're multifaceted, safe for the whole family, and uh, I'm excited always about sharing that opportunity with as many people as I can. Thank you, Dr. Hill. 虽然大家都听过精油，不过大部分的人对精油并不完全的认识。而经由 Dr. Hill 的分享，我们可以了解到，原来精油已经成为当代医学最热门的研究主题，而且对你我的身心健康都能带来正面的影响。